I was educated at a young age about God and Jesus Christ. And when I was young, my mom was involved in choirs, usually at a military chapel. I remember going to classes and doing all the craft projects that were a part of Sunday school. And I'm thankful for my parents' involvement in church. And I believe that these seeds were planted a long time ago because of this. However, they were planted but not watered. I was a rebellious kid growing up and would hang around the wrong crowds. Eventually, I entered the Air Force at 17 years of age. The military helped me with the disciplines that I needed in my life. But because of my choices, I continued on a path that was far from God. Yes, my life has been peppered with experiences that the Lord continuously uses to remind me of how grateful I am for his redeeming power. In 1987, I was 27 years old, active duty military, stationed in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, bodybuilding, and still did not have God on my mind or in my heart. We were preparing for a military exercise and were working the weekends to fine tune our paperwork. It was on one of those weekends that I met my bride, Meredith, who is now my wife. I reflect back on the circumstances that surround my meeting, Meredith, and I can now say that the Lord was working in mysterious ways. The Lord used many people, including Meredith, her mom, a friend of mine who used to be a youth pastor but who was running from God, an older lady named Rose Kennedy, and of course, his Holy Spirit to eventually bring me to Jesus. Meredith had been saved for three years when we met. And those circumstances that could only have happened with God's hand, she ended up going out to dinner with me and my friend. At that time, I didn't know she was a Christian. I started getting a clue when she prayed for her food, and though our conversations shared like what kind of music she liked, it was nothing like the hard rock I listened to. Once I found out about her Christian life, I thought that was it. And it was going to be a bummer of an evening. God had always had a different plan. And after about two months, a Dear John letter, a marriage seminar, and an evangelist, I came to the point of asking Jesus to be my Savior and my best friend. This was the beginning of my 21-year adventure in Christ. I want to share a scripture out of 2 Peter Chapter 1, 3 through 8. And it says, His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these, He has given us His very great and precious promises, so that through them you and I may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evildoers. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, They will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Church, I want to be effective and productive for the Lord. When I was saved, I knew my life was changed. And God is even now working with me to help me become a better dad, husband, leader. Since I accepted Christ in my heart, I've been on a lifelong journey of discovery and getting to know and understand the Lord. Thank you.